All right, today's video is going to be on making a kydex sheath for your knife. Uh, you're going to need some tools to do this project. So first of all, you're going to need a heat source like an oven, a kydex press like I'm showing here, uh, some kind of tools to drill, cut, and grind kydex, an eyelet setter, and a hammer, and then a big old clamp so you can clamp that kydex press together. Uh, so to outline this video, the first things we're going to talk about are we're going to talk about prepping the knife, which we're doing right here on the side. Uh, you got to measure your kydex after you get the knife prepped heat and press the kydex around the knife, drill holes, cut and grind, and then clean the sheath and get it ready for rivets. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay some tape out on each side of the flats of your knife. This will provide you with just a little bit of space on the inside of the sheath so that the flats of your knife isn't rubbing up against the inside of the sheath all the time. Another little feature that I like to put into my sheaths is a drain hole. To do this I use a piece of 1 8 of an inch brass rod and I tape it to the spine of the knife. Once the sheath is molded around this rod it'll make a really nice drain hole at the bottom of your sheath in case your sheath ever gets full of water. Then I take a, a, a piece of kydex and I lay the knife down on it. Now I try to choke it up pretty far onto the kydex so I have a lot of space to grind around the handle area. Uh, I normally measure out about one inch on each side of the blade and then I'll mark it and cut out two pieces of kydex for each side of the sheath. To cut them I, I use a, a razor and I just scribe the line a couple times and then it'll break along that line pretty easily but I've seen people use shears and things like that to to cut kydex sheaths. I turn my little toaster oven on up to about 290, put my little kydex sheets in there and get them heating up. I'm generally shooting for about 290 to 295 degrees Fahrenheit I got it a little hot this time at about 309, so they were definitely ready to mold. So you take them out of the oven, you lay your first sheet down, put the knife on top of the first sheet, and then as quickly as you can possibly do it, get the second sheet on top of it, line it all up, close your kydex press together, and then clamp it down. You notice that this is a DIY homemade kydex press here. It's just two pieces of 2x12 and then some foam I found on Amazon. I'll try to find a link and put that in the description below. When you take it apart, I try to do it very slowly uh, so the two pieces of kydex will stay stuck together. And then we're going to take a pencil, ruler, and a set of calipers and mark out our holes. I like keeping uh, the holes about 3 8 of an inch away from the outline of the knife. Then we'll go over to the drill press, get those holes drilled out. Notice I've been putting eyelets behind each hole I drill just to keep the whole sheath nice and lined up. After we have the holes drilled, we will start marking out what the profile of our sheath will look like. I generally keep it about 3 eighths of an inch away from the center of the eyelets to the outside of the profile of the sheath. The next step is to head on over to the bandsaw, get the profile cut out, and then we'll start grinding down to our drawn lines to get a very nice clean profile of the sheath. One of the more crucial areas of grinding the sheath is towards the handle end. I like using the wheel on my grinder here to make nice smooth radiuses on this section of the sheath. It's this section of the sheath that will provide you the majority of your retention. So you want to make sure that you don't go too far or don't leave too much. So it's kind of a balancing act that you'll get used to as you go making these sheaths. It's definitely trial and error depending on the geometry of the knife. Right here where I'm pointing is where all the retention of your sheath will be. So I try to make a very nice smooth edge here so that when your knife is sliding into the sheath it doesn't get caught up on anything. One key takeaway here that I want you all to notice is that we retain the ability to take this sheath apart during this process so that we can clean the inside of it uh, before riveting it together. This allows us to make sure there's no grit inside of the sheath to scratch our knife, our freshly made knife, after we put it in for the first time. Uh, we then take our little eyeliner. I got this eyeliner off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap but it has the tendency every once in a while to just crush a rivet. Uh, if you crush a rivet with it, you can just go take a pair of pliers, fully crush your rivet and push it back through the hole and then put a new eyelet in there and then start re-riveting those holes. And then we do a little test fit. All looks good. Last thing to do is to tie some paracord around this thing and give ourselves a belt loop. I didn't mention it earlier, but when you're drilling out the holes, make sure to keep them about an inch and a half apart so that you can utilize a tech lock or other common clips on your sheath. Once you got the paracord on there or your clip, you're ready to rock and roll. Your sheath is done. 
it's fit specifically to your knife and you have a nice little carry option for your day-to-day. -day. If you all like this content, please subscribe. I'll have new tool reviews and how-tos coming at you.